Whoa. This is the experience. What are we saying first? This vest is a top contender for anything in its category as far as capacity, and I think it might be right up there with my love for my Solomon vest. So I'm stoked to be talking about the Swiftland TT, but not just because I'm an REI employee and this is an REI product, but because I've put tons of miles and time in the vest. So the opinions I'm gonna be expressing are all based on my experience in the vest. So when I try on a new running vest, I think about a couple things. First is fit, which includes comfort and bounce. Second is capacity, which is how much stuff can I put in there. And third is access, all the stuff that I have in there, how easy is it to get to? First, it's probably important to note that the vest comes in three different sizes for both men and women. When you put the uh, Velcro strap on and you adjust it to your size and you kind of get this to fit just right um, with the nylon straps in the center, like it just doesn't move. It, it's, it's, it's there, <laughs> it's not going anywhere. I think about some other vests that have nylon straps here, that's really great. They usually have nylon straps on the back some of them, they have kind of like a wraparound uh, mesh on the back as well, which is also great, but basically it just kind of moves with your whole body. But what caught my attention the most, why I even reached for the vest, was because I saw this strap and it just kind of blew me away. I was like, what is that? I don't know what that's for. But it's like this really wide Velcro strap. And the cool thing there is that you have a lot more room. And depending on how you adjust that, obviously you can see the room there. And then these become secondary kind of fit options there. So the next thing is really capacity, right? This vest is a seven liter capacity vest. Um, at least that's what it's like slated as. I think it carries way more than that seemingly. I've, I've packed this thing to the brim for like longer runs all the way in the Grand Canyon, which has been awesome for, I'm gonna be out for eight hours to a couple of Northwest runs where I know I'm gonna be out for six or seven hours carrying layers, micro spikes, water filters, food, things like that. So. I have a 12 liter vest that I love and that's like I think a perfect size for anything the mountains want to throw at me but I've been surprised to see how much stuff I can actually fit in here and that comes probably in large part because you do have this huge pocket in the back which is really awesome so it's hard to tell sometimes like what capacity things are when they're so stretchy um, but you can get a ton of stuff in here a surprising amount of stuff. Staying on the back of the pack I should say you do have these bungee straps and like these bungee straps are cool because they are uh, pretty adjustable right so you can unclip them from the back there they're just girth hitched onto it but what comes to mind mostly for folks on this uh, use for this is going to be trekking poles so you can just kind of put trekking poles if you have the foldable ones and just stash them there behind so that they carry in the back there but if we get into the capacity question like you know I'm looking at the vest I'm like great there's a pocket here a pocket there there's these water bottle pockets these actually come with water bottles made by hydropack that are tapered down to kind of fit down there which is kind of nice you do have this pocket here that again some people have used for like personal locator beacons or they'll use for like their in-reach. You can kind of put maybe the antenna under there, depending on how it feels kind of pressed up against you. But you have that little secondary option there. Some people will use it as trash, I have. You have the tunnel pocket in the back here, which you can see my hand go through. It's a little bit um, shorter, or I guess it's a little bit more narrow than some of the other tunnel pockets that you might see in some other vests. I usually keep like really thin pieces in here, um, sometimes like my gloves that I can just get to really easily, um, sometimes some extra food that I know it's not gonna be big. I, I have tried to put like, you know, an extra layer in there and sometimes it can be a little bit bulky because the vest sits a little bit higher on you, so getting back there and getting your whole hand in there is a little bit um, cumbersome, but some smaller items, it's great for that. I love to keep my extra layers right here on the side. So like if I think the weather might change, which often happens on some of the runs out here, um, I can just grab my jacket, my extra layer and throw it on even over the vest. The nice thing about having like a slimmer, lower volume vest is that you can easily put layers over it, which is pretty cool. For all the things that I might like better, maybe even in some of my other vests, especially like my Solomon vest, the big selling point there is like the ease of access is incredible. It's super comfortable and I can get to everything that I want to like in a breeze. Here I might have to stop and pull some stuff out to kind of put in here. The kangaroo tunnel pocket is a little bit like kind of small there, like it's a little narrow, so I get those things. But to be honest, like the, the benefit of the no bounce is big enough to where I will reach for this vest over and over again. So if I can fit everything that I need for that particular run, I'm probably gonna take this vest out. This vest is awesome and I think it is 
outcompeting all the other vests in this category, in this like capacity. And I think the big reason I would say that, I mean, it's a big claim, but really is because the no bounce story. And I think the no bounce story, the star really is this PFD buckle. Everybody that I've got into this vest has said the same thing. Like, I can't believe how much it doesn't move, so. Gear should complement your adventure, and when you look at your gear, you should like have fond memories and it should bring a smile to your face. Certainly I feel that way when I look at the Swiftland TT, and I'm excited to see what that means for the future of my trail running vest options. So that's my review of the Swiftland TT trail running vest from REI, but I'd love to hear from y'all. What's your favorite running vest? Have you ever experienced a truly no-bounce run? What's that piece of trail running gear that brings a smile to your face? Leave a comment below, I'd love to read them. You're right, I already sound like a really minimalist person where I'm like, 12 liters, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs>